Hello my fellow Dream Chasers and Disney fans across the world and welcome to this week's episode of Kingdom of Isolation where we isolate ourselves with the magic of Disney in these troubling times. And yes, as you saw there, I now have an intro, uh, my tribute to the classic Disney intro from the 90s. Now, my guest today uh, is a good friend from uh, college. Uh, he will be in the next episode where we'll be covering Bambi as well. But uh, today we're going to be covering Dumbo. And uh, yeah, like I say, my guest this week uh, is a friend from college, has his own movie YouTube channel from Movies and Milk himself, Mr. Michael Magori. Michael, yes, welcome along. Yes. Oh, thank you very much, Fraser. Thank you for having me on. I'll... I'll... You can all calm down, calm down with your pause there. <laughs> uh, yeah, and uh, a link to the Movies and Milk Instagram and YouTube page will be not only in the description, but pinned at the top of the comments on this video as well. And you guys can let me know who you want me to have on this series as uh, guests for future episodes, because... Let's put it this way. Once Bambi's out of the way, we're into the World War II films. So that's going to be an interesting... Oh, the, the package films. That'll be an interesting period to cover before we get back to full-length films like Cinderella. Aye, aye. I've never watched any of the package films myself, so that would be interesting, actually. Yeah, same, same here. So that'll be, that'll be a completely new experience. But nevertheless, like I said, today we're going to be covering Dumbo, released in 1941, just a few months after uh, Fantasia. And uh, this is during the period where, of course, World War II uh, is happening and the international box office is just non-existent until the re-releases yeah, come, re come into play. Uh, but yeah, this is... Um, this, for a lot of people, has one of the saddest uh, scenes in all of Disney, and it's not hard to see why, and we'll get into it. Uh... I think the entire film's sad up until the very end, myself, but uh, I will we'll get, we'll get into it. That is true. Uh, and, and you guys are wondering, what's going to happen as far as the live-action remakes are concerned? Oh, <laughs> trust me, we'll get to that. We'll get to that um, train wreck short uh, soon. Uh, you'll need to have me on for that episode. I think we'll have an interesting discussion over the remake. Oh, yeah. I remember... Uh, yeah, I remember you were really liking it, but I think it's all right. That's it. I, I actually, I actually reviewed the live-action remake uh, when, when it came out. I remember when it came out last year. Yeah, and overall, I just did not enjoy it. Um, uh, what what I can try and do is I can try and leave uh, some sort of uh, annotation or the eye in the top right corner to to link to that Dumbo review. Uh, but we'll cross that bridge when we get to it in the Aye. editing uh, process. But nevertheless, <laughs> let's focus on the wonderful animated classic. Uh, so, um, for those that don't know how this series works, first of all, welcome along. Uh, <laughs> how this works is because um, because Disney Plus launched in the UK last month, and uh, uh, with the fact that we're uh, currently in uh, lockdown at the moment, which just got extended by another three weeks just a few days ago at time of recording, uh, I figured, you know what, let's kill the time and uh, review all the Disney films. Yes. There's no better way. <laughs> yes, there are a lot of Disney films. And once this initial run is out of the way, there's still... Um, the, the episodes are just going to come as and when new Disney films uh, come out. But I'm not going to be including Marvel or Star Wars. I will, however, have separate runs for Pixar and the live action films. But for now, we're focusing on the bulk of Disney's portfolio, the animated films. Five topics to discuss. Story, characters, visuals, animation in this case, and soundtrack which is how I normally do my reviews. And in the case of a retro review, which is basically how this works, um, my, retro, my first retro review was the original Halloween, back in 19, uh, which was released back in 1978, uh, which I actually got up on Halloween, no less. Um, uh, because because the, the last year's Halloween, uh, the, I say, uh, the 2018 Halloween film uh, had premiered on Sky Cinema that week. Oh yeah, I know. Um, but yeah, the the fifth uh, the fifth topic, test of time, how well the film holds up today. And so far, every they've all been successful. Yeah, so far all three Disney films, 
I've reviewed so far in this series have managed to get 10 out of 10 on the test of time section. Will that yeah. streak continue today? Um, uh, but then, of course, um, in the last episode, Fantasia, we had our first 100% score. Ooh. Not very That's often. Not very often I give a film 100%. Uh, but, and who knows? It might not be the last time it happens in this series. But anyway. So Dumbo. Now, yes. Now we know. Now we know how the series works. Let's get into this. So, um, where to begin? Um, so, we've got, we've got the Storks. Um, we've got the Storks delivering babies to the various uh, animal couples uh, across across the land uh, and I'm, pr I'm pretty sure it is primarily uh america because you can actually see part of the uh... yes i that's that's one of my favorite jokes in the film when he's looking at the map and then it turns out that the land that he's looking above looks exactly similar to the map that he's got um... Yeah, it's got big Florida letters over the state of Florida, and it's ah yes. I thought that was a lovely little visual gag. That that that's very, that's very clever. Yeah, I mean, I mean, we we all know that uh, we all know that old um, we all know that uh, uh, old tale uh, where, uh, uh, where where do babies come from? Uh, they're coming from storks, uh, but back when we were younger, of course. But of course, uh, yeah. but of course, uh, in reality, that is not the case. But uh, imagine, imagine if that was the case. Uh, storks would break their back delivering baby elephants. That that would be yeah, that's a valid concern. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and um, um, and then and then moving and then moving swiftly on, we get introduced to uh, Mrs. Jumbo and uh, uh, and her. She's waiting on her. She's waiting on her baby at the beginning. Or yeah. so the other babies are being delivered. Yep, yeah, still waiting on hers. And uh, when it does eventually come, you've got four other elephants. Oh, yeah. no. evil! Oh, evil cretins! I do not like them. <laughs> oh, um, I know that's the point, but yeah. But, uh, but before I forget, folks, <laughs> spoiler alert! If you've somehow not seen the film yet, always got to make sure I put the spoiler alert film uh, in there just to be on the safe side. Ah, right, just to be safe. You never know. Yeah. Uh, let's say, let's say just just before I forget, because <laughs> <laughs> uh, first first two episodes I was just like I was just like uh, yeah I, I I actually forgot to put the spoiler alert thing, uh, <laughs> at at the start and I didn't realize that until about halfway through Fantasia no problems there. And... We've not spoiled anything yet. This is just the first act, so we're all yep. right. Yeah, I was like, I was like, it's a it's a very short film. Just just just, just over an hour long, if I'm right in saying. Yes, I think it's like an hour and. Seven minutes, I think. I watched it this morning. Um, I about an hour and seven. Yeah, it's, it's, it's definitely it's definitely one of the shorter films that yes. uh, that Disney have made. Uh, and and the reason why it was as short as it was is because uh, with the financial failure of uh, Fantasia, they needed to recoup the losses quick uh, with something cheap and something quick at the same time. Yeah, and that's and that's where Dumbo came into play. Mm -hmm. Uh, but yeah, um, when Mrs. Jumbo does get her baby package, we get yep. we get we get introduced to Dumbo, and oh my word, the first time you see him, he's so cute! I can't <laughs> handle the cuteness. It's it's one of the very few times where I smile in the movie. Whenever Dumbo smiles, it's awful infectious. I'm like, oh, he's, oh I, I just want to run into the screen and grab him. He's, he's adorable. Um. <laughs> yeah, and. Um, and then just just another cute moment there. Um, I was like on the verge of sneezing, manages to stop, and then ends up sneezing, and that's when the ears come into play. The big reveal. Yeah, but uh, but it's 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 one of those running gags that I've seen numerous times. It actually yeah, it was actually in Snow White, no less. Um, uh, Sneezy on the verge of sneezing, uh, manages to stop, and then whoosh! Aye, aye, it comes off as a, a bit of a surprise. Yeah. Um. <laughs> I was like, I was like, I was like, regardless of the build-up, it's, it's, it's still a great running gag throughout these films. Yeah, yeah, no, it's, it's a, it's a cute little, uh, a nice little reveal to the ears, I think. 
And just to be and just to be clear, folks, we have no script for these uh, episodes whatsoever. We just go with as the if you'd any noticed already. <laughs> we, we we just go with flow, <laughs> which I think is probably the best way to go about it. Anyway, we, yeah, we don't just want, a little we don't want, yeah we don't want it to be too manufactured if that makes sense. I make it like a podcast. Make it nice and relaxed. Yeah, exactly. exactly. That, that's what that's what one of my friends actually said. Um. Um, I'm not sure if it was you or somebody else uh, after the first episode was uh, released. It was me, I think. I th- yeah. I think I told you it was. The, the, fact, the fact that uh, one of the comments said that uh, it, it felt more like a podcast. And you know what I might actually do at some point? I might actually get these episodes converted into an audio format, might get them up onto my Spotify account, and uh, there you go, folks. You've got a podcast to listen to every week. There we go. I'll listen to that whilst I'm doing my daily walks. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But 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 then but then once that big reveal of the ears comes into play, those those four uh, I mean you I mean you've said it yourself, evil cretins, uh, for like yes. them, <laughs> the gasp and uh, oh boy, um, very mean spirited at this point. Yes, no, they just start shunning them. It's oh, they don't their comeuppance isn't isn't satisfying to me. I would have liked them to maybe get a little bit more for how they treat Dumbo. Yeah, and uh, look, and looking back on it, it's uh, it's definitely something I can uh, uh, connect to because really um, too, because um, with with me essentially being an outcast at school, uh, because uh, with me being autistic, it, it can affect how I communicate with people. Because yeah. of, because of that, I felt like an outcast. I found it really difficult to make friends uh, at school, but mm-hmm. um, but then meeting that, but then meeting Michael and the rest of the film and broadcasting crew at um, at college, while I'm on the subject, folks. You started coming out of your shell. Yeah. The, um, I was like, uh, my, so Michael won't be able to see this until uh, the episode goes live on my channel, but this is the card that the entire team uh, managed to chip in and they managed, no, you got to get you. they managed to chip in they managed to chip in something and they actually got me this and it was like a couple of weeks after my granddad had passed away. Yeah, yeah, no, it was and it's just a little something. I was, like, I, I was genuinely lost for words at that point. I mean, I, th- I think that I think that just goes to show how close everybody was. Uh, especially, uh, I mean, I mean, especially with especially with what I'd been uh, going through at the time, because looking after looking after my granddad while yeah. studying at college at the same time, it was not easy. And it got to the point where you've seen it yourself, Michael. I had outbursts. Yes, yes. No, I do remember, but yeah, we all have them. Yeah, I say June June times. Yeah, I say, uh, and and the fact that. I, th- I think it was I think it was Jack and Matthew I think uh, that they, they actually, actually attended the funeral yeah yeah they they were actually there they were actually there for mm-hmm. uh, my granddad's funeral and I I honestly couldn't thank them enough <sighs> but anyway but anyway yeah uh, but like I say uh, like I say uh, what one of the reasons why one of the reasons why I can connect with that scene where the uh, the elephants are making fun of uh, Dumbo uh, is because. I've been in that position as well. I, yeah, I've, no. I've had people making fun of me as well. I mean, I think pretty. I think everybody's been there at some point. Yeah, no, I was pretty much the same as you in secondary school. I was really no, I wasn't. I wasn't popular, son. I'll tell you, it wasn't until college where I started coming out of my shell and becoming a bit more confident about myself. Um, well, that makes two of us in, then. Yeah, no, back in school I was very shy. I was, uh, I was just by myself. I was doing YouTube videos at the time as well, so that didn't really. Yeah, get me over well with the popular kids. So, mm. yeah, but but I mean, but I mean, look, but I mean, look where YouTube is now. It's uh, I mean, people are making careers out of it as well. Yep, yep, there we are. Right. Yeah. yeah, but um, and then it's just oh, oh boy. I was like, actually, I'll, I'll see if I can actually get the. Uh... What's that? I, th- I, th- I think what I, ne- I think what I need to do for future episodes is that I, that I actually need to watch these, episodes, especially with the ones that I haven't seen before. I need- All right, okay. I definitely need to watch these films again or watch them for the first time, so that way I'm familiar with the plot. Of yes, the no, I'm, I'm trying to remember what happens next. Uh, 
I said, well, well, I've, I've, well I've, actually, I've actually got the plot synopsis in front of me right now. Uh, da, mm. da, 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 da. Uh, Start back with the circus, I think, actually. A... Yeah. Well, actually, we should maybe explain why the film's called Dumble, because that's not the elephant's actual name. Yeah, it, it, it was because it was meant to be Jumbo Jr. Yep, and then those four evil cretins again. Yep. Decided to call him Dumble. And, and there you go. And um, and Dumbo and and th- and it's at that point that's when Dumbo gets relegated to being a circus act, and yeah. they end up having to uh, they end up having to tie the uh, what's it, what's it, it's, it's the plot says here. Uh, but but when a group of rascals takes to mocking Dumbo. Uh, Jumbo catches one of them with her trunk, and uh, uh, okay, um, I <laughs> give him a right good spanking. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, oh yeah, oh boy, uh, and that and that's the point where the ringmaster deems Mrs. Jumbo as a mad elephant, and it's actually plastered on the her her little prison cell cage. Type yes, thing. I was like, I was like try, trying to trying to find the right wording for it, but but yeah, her cage. Mad elephant, and she's actually got the the ball and chain as well. I know it's it's it's, it's quite a depressing film. I'll, yeah, I will say. yeah, not very um, not very pl- not a very uh, pleasant reminder of uh, America's um, racist and slavery history. Yeah, I. Um... Oh, and and before anyone asks, it's highly unlikely we're going to do Song of the South because. Good luck trying to find a copy of the film anywhere. <laughs> I've no seen that. I would, I would like to see it, but uh, like you said, I can't find it anywhere. So yeah, I think, but my mum actually has a copy of the film on VHS oh, right. with the case. Because oh, oh, ba- back in the nineties, the film was released on VHS in the UK, but in America, nope, they <laughs> refuse to release it to this day. Uh, all right, it's going to be an interesting one. Yeah, but then, but then we get introduced to uh, probably one of my favourite side characters of uh, the early Disney films, Mister Timothy Q. Mouse. Uh, aye, no, I remember back as a child, I wasn't a huge fan of him. I always thought is him being like a sort of not so good Jiminy Cricket in a way. But rewatching it um, this morning, I actually really like him. I understand why he's in the film. He's one of the few people that. Is friends with Dumbo. Um, yeah, it's it's what and, we need in the film. And and then of course there's that uh, and then of course there's that um, there's that myth uh, which I, which I'm pretty sure was actually tested on MythBusters at one point of because you know the whole thing uh, elephants being afraid of mice. Yes. Yeah. I was, like, I was like, I'm not sure if that I was, I'm not I'm not sure if that was actually busted or confirmed or what. Um. Watching Hell's Kitchen, is that all right? Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> you don't have to. Uh, sorry about that, Fraser. That, was, that's good. Yeah, <laughs> that's good. That's good. Yeah, Mythbusters did actually test uh, the theory of uh, elephants being uh, afraid of mice. Um, was it, um, was it, what I'm, what I'm going to do is, in the edit. so what I'm going to do is, uh, in the editing process, I'm going to actually put like a, a little... Um, uh, Graphic. A, a, a graphic on screen, uh, pr- probably just probably just the thumbnail for the probably just the thumbnail for the series, um, sure. uh, to um, uh, to bear with me, folks. I will get my <laughs> words out eventually. Um, I'll have I'll probably have just like the the um, the thumbnail for this series, uh, and just like a couple of lines of text confirming or busting the myth. That elephants are afraid of mice. So when, um, so, uh, so you, you'll you'll see this in the editing. You'll see this once it's all edited together. So when, um, yeah. f- uh, future Kenzie retro for editing, uh, is the myth <laughs> has the myth been busted or confirmed? Excellent. Thank you very much for that. <laughs> <laughs> As I like to say, you, you'll see that once it's all edited together. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Um, but yeah. At that point. Um, Timothy runs out and scares the living daylights out of the the four evil witches. Yep, what goes around comes around, as they say. 
Aye, again, they deserve more. They, they, oh, oh. But of, but of I'm course, angry. <laughs> but of course, if they did get more, uh, yeah, I don't think it would have made the final cut. Well, why? But well, I don't know. Disney was taking chances back in this time. That that is that is true, especially especially with scenes like uh, the the whole donkey transformation in Pinocchio, Night oh, on aye. Old Mountain, and then of course that forest scene in uh, Snow White. Um, the pheasant scene in Bambi as well. I don't know if you remember it, but when you rewatch Bambi, there's a scene where a couple of pheasants, uh, one of them gets shot. It's, uh, it's oh it's yes. Tough, it's, it's yes, I, I, I do remember that scene there. Almost here, I can't stand it any longer. Takes to the sky, <laughs> gunshot, falls to the ground, and ev- and it, uh, essentially all hell breaks loose. Yes, no, we'll, we'll discuss that in further detail in the next the next episode, but of course. I know that scene. <laughs> of course, yeah. Uh, but yeah, this is... Um, and, uh, oh boy, and... You know how I mentioned earlier that one of the saddest scenes in Disney history? Here we are! Baby mine. Oh, I. Yeah. And... Timothy becomes friends with Dumbo and then he's like, yeah. come with me, Dumbo. It's I like, know where your mother is. Like, Mrs. Jumbo! I hope she's in. <laughs> and then, and then Jumbo, uh, Mrs. Jumbo sees the baby trunk, and, and you're just like, oh my word, just, make, yeah, make sure you have plenty of tissues on hand, folks. I know, I, I wasn't, I will, I will admit, I was, I was, I was being a man, I was getting through the scene okay, until, uh, Dumbo, um, parts with his mother, and then the trunks start to unlink, and then I'm like, oh, ah, man, ah. and then Timothy uh, uh, sheds uh, a tear, and you're just, and, and you're like, just like, okay, who's cutting onions in here? <laughs> I was watching the film in the kitchen Sunday night. I've been cutting onions, so uh, oh. that was my excuse. But uh, I was oh. the only one in the kitchen, so. Oh dear. <laughs> yeah. Um, um, but then, they, but then, uh, Dumbo back. Just needed some hydration. Yeah, uh, but before, but before that, uh, well, oh, actually, yeah, we, actually, we have actually. I think we've actually skipped a. a fit, uh, I was going to say, I think you've skipped the the circus scene. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, we have. The clowns. Yeah, it turns out we've actually skipped a skipped a, a fair chunk. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so yeah, before all that baby mine emotional wreck, uh, tissues at the ready scene. Um, uh, Timothy gets. We get introduced to Timothy. He he scares he scares the elephants that have been making fun of Dumbo. Encourages Dumbo to become a star. Dumbo ends up becoming a clown, and um, it's and. To say to say the audience were making fun of him, it was. I mean, I mean, you expect people to laugh at clowns, but not like this. Yeah, no, I. The audience in this film are crazy. That's one way of putting it. <laughs> say, and then, it was like, it was like, uh, and and then pe- and then people wonder, and then pe- and then we wonder why people are uh, scared of clowns, not because of it. Try, try rewinding another forty-nine years. I would say, I would say fifty, but uh, Dumbo, nineteen forty-one, the It miniseries, nineteen ninety. Mm, yeah. Oh, aye. Yeah. I say, I say, I mean, I mean, I get why people can be unsettled in regards to clowns. I mean, yes. I've, I've only been to the circus like once or twice, but. Uh, I would say the best one that I've been to has got to be the one at Blackpool Tower. I've never went to a circus myself, so yeah, I'll, I'll take your word on it. I'll, yeah. I'll go and visit the one in Blackpool once yeah. this lockdown's finished. Yeah, as, 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 uh, um, as, I went to the Blackpool Tower uh, circus uh, back in 2017. Goodness me, that was nearly three years ago now. Uh, I, I was there from like Monday through to... Friday for, for the week with uh, uh, I was with a, a young carers group at the time and um, this this was all like um, just like a couple of weeks a couple of weeks if that after what happened in Manchester oh yeah 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 mm-hmm. yeah but yeah I was like, it, it was um, it was it was definitely a, a good step in the um, Right direction. In the right direction, as far as my recovery process 
is concerned. Um, uh, and while, yes, I might have to accept the fact that I might never fully recover from it, uh, I'm actually... I'm accepting more on a daily basis that, yes, what I went through was was tough, but I made it out not only alive, but without any uh, without any injuries. Yeah, 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 no. Yeah. I'm glad, I'm, I'm glad you, did, you, you, you made it out, son. Yeah, um, Cause, uh, and, and, and that's despite the fact I ended up having my, my latest flashback episode uh, uh, this past Monday. Again, at time of recording, we're recording this on the Saturday, on the 18th. Mm -hmm. Uh, the flashback that I had was on the uh, 13th, just a week after uh, my birthday. All oh, right, okay. Yeah. Uh, so, you need to open up about these things, son. Uh, yeah, I was like, I was like, it's... We're all in this together. Absolutely, I mean... I mean, it's it's not it's not easy talking about uh, talking about uh, tough things like that. But uh, at the end of the day, the support network that I have definitely helps definitely helping me get through uh, even my darkest days. Aye, aye, aye. That's all you need. You need a, a little support network. Yeah, but 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 now that we've got all that, but now that we've got that circus scene, now that we've got that circus scene out of the way, we've gone through baby mine. Uh, you've said you've said. Dumbo needs a bit of hydration, yeah. and uh, <laughs> oh boy, where to uh, begin with this one? What is it? It's a bottle of prosecco gets uh, poured into a bucket of water. I I think. Think. Well, well, according to the plot synopsis, it's uh, champagne, but uh, champagne. Uh, but yeah, uh, sp spilt into the water by by, by some clowns. Uh, Dumbo and Timothy end up getting very drunk off the um, <laughs> off the uh, concoction. The Aye. And uh, yeah, like yeah, like I said, where to begin with this one? Uh, the pink elephant scene. Yes, uh... the pink elephants on parade, <laughs> folks. Oh boy! <laughs> it's uh, it's a trip. I didn't, I didn't realise it was as long as it was. What was it? It's it's about three or four minutes long, and for a film that's only an hour long, yeah. that's quite a chunk of time devoted to this trippy. Weird, creepy, fun. You're just feeling a bunch of different emotions during this. Yeah, scene. I mean, I mean, you're just sitting there like, what in the world is going on? And um, the I animation mean, is spectacular in that scene, I'll tell you. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, massive kudos to the animation team for be able to being able to create something as bizarre but creative at the same time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's and definitely one of the best parts of the film. Yeah, despite the fact, despite how, uh, despite the facts of how disturbing it can be. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, once all that's out of the way, we end up going to we end up uh, transporting into the next morning, where somehow Dumbo and uh, Timothy are in a tree. I'm telling you, see 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 hangovers, see hangovers. You'll find yourself in the weirdest places when you get. When you wake up after a, a good night out, good night in the town. Um. Uh, yeah, I was like, um, I, 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 bearing in mind, folks, um, before before I joined uh, the church that I'm part of, Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, uh, uh, very rarely did I end up w w with a hangover. Yes, I yes I had a, a few nights where I went over the edge. But, uh, yeah, um, <laughs> the old occasion I did have a hangover, it went for a couple of days. <laughs> one, one, particular, one particular hangover I had was, um, uh, I, was at, I was at the opening night of uh, Crumbs and Cocktails. All right, yes, and yeah. Yep. Um, and uh, one, of my friends, one of my friends at the time, uh, Connor Johnston, his name is, uh, he, was in a, he was in a band, Los Perros. Uh, they they were the band that were performing uh, for that opening night. Uh, oh boy, um, <laughs> the amount I had, I don't even want to get started on how much uh, how much I had or what I had because I don't even remember half of what I had. Uh, I Did was, you see any pink elephants? Thankfully not. I, <laughs> but uh, but wait, but the following morning I was just like, what on earth happened last night? And then. Uh yeah, it's uh, <laughs> it ended up ended up ended up going on into the next day at college. Was that was that? No 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 not not with was you. This, not, 
Not with you guys. This was uh, a couple of years before I met you guys. Right, okay. Uh, yeah, it, was, it, was like, it was like uh, 2013. Oh, right, okay. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Being hung over at college, it was not pleasant. <laughs> try, try doing a, a six-hour shift at work. Doing oh. a dead shift oh. after a good night out. Ouch! It's uh, uh, half nine in the morning. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, because because it would be one of the it would have been one of those days where it's uh, you've got the the kids screenings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh I don't want to remember back to that night. That was a bad one. <laughs> uh, I didn't end up in a tree. That's a good thing. I didn't <laughs> yeah. end up in a tree like Dumbo. Yeah, luckily none of us did. <laughs> luckily neither of us did. But uh, and then this is where we get introduced to the. Uh, the Jim Crows, uh, and they ended up attracting a little bit of controversy. I mean, what film at the time didn't garner controversy? Yeah, yeah, no, it's, I, I, it's not. It's not really a racist depiction. I mean, Disney have done some very racist things. That's probably one of the least racist things I've seen personally. But this is coming from a white man, so. Hmm. Uh, Obviously, I can't speak for everyone, but um, I know I'm just thinking back to that uh, scene in Aristocats where they've got the the Chinese one playing oh, the piano. Oh, oh, Shanghai, Hong Kong, Egg Foo Young, Fortune Cookie, yes. always wrong. Oh my word! Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. And and it's been it's, it's been a while since I've seen the Aristocats, and I still remember that. I I, st- I can still quote that. I mean, I mean <laughs> use, using chopsticks to play oriental music on the piano yes. and you're just like what i don't know how they got away with it even I, back then i'm wondering <laughs> that as well how did they get away with stuff like this back back in the day i mean i mean i mean i mean of course we're at a point where everyone's doing live disney's doing live rem- action remakes of everything yes yeah good luck with that particular scene <laughs> Well, again, the J. Crows aren't in the Dumbo remake, so they could just remove it altogether. Well, that that's true. That is true. But um, yeah. but even if I like the J. Crows. I think they're, they're yeah. a cool cast of characters. I think they definitely liven up the film a bit because, yeah, like absolutely. I said beforehand, the film's kind of depressing. And then obviously the scene before this, it was the pink elephant scene. So yeah. I'm just sat there tripping off my balls and. Yeah. Uh, I know the J Crows definitely come in and sort of liven the place up a bit, and mm-hmm. they start to sing. Uh, when I when, see when an I elephant see an fly, elephant fly, yeah, That's great it. song, absolutely, one of my favourites. Absolutely, yeah. Um, uh, I know. I think it's one of the underrated Disney songs. I mean, I know. Yeah. People do know it, but I think Dumbo definitely has some bangers in there. Baby Mine and. When I see an elephant fly and the pink elephants on parade, it's it's a good soundtrack. Yeah, doesn't get talked about enough. Yeah, that's it. Uh, but but I mean, at the end of the day, uh, Dumbo Dumbo manages to learn to fly with the help of a uh, a black feather from one of the crows. Yeah. Yep, and uh, the crows are flying along with him, and it's at this point in the film. I'm pretty sure it's at this point in the film um, that Timothy. Uh, declares Dumbo the ninth wonder of the universe. Yes. Uh, which begs the question, what was the eighth wonder of the universe, or was that King Kong back in 1933? Um, uh, it, it was probably King Kong. I, it was probably just a little reference. You're on IMDb the now, aren't you? You're on the Dumbo IMDb page. Does it say anything about it on there? Um, I'll say, well, I, I, can, I can check. I'll, I'll quickly check as well. I don't think... Well, I know it's... I think it might be in reference to King Kong. When was this released again? This was 1941. 1941, yeah. And King Kong was 1933. Aye, so it could have been, yeah. Um, but aye. So, no, re-watching Dumbo again, I'm surprised it took nearly... Like, Dumbo doesn't fly until the last five minutes. Yeah, and... Th- and then we see, and then we see him going back to the circus, and uh, ends, and he ends up losing his feather. And you, yeah, as and, he's dive bombing into a, a bucket of water. And you're just like, oh my word, uh, uh, what, what, what's, what's going to happen here? Is he going to be able to fly, or is he going to just end up being a choke artist? But, <laughs> but then, 
moment of triumph, you see Dumble flying around the entire um, tent. She was under the air, yes. Yeah. And, I mean, the music at this point, just so triumphant. Yes, yeah, no, again, a great soundtrack. Um, see, the, the, the bit when they're falling, I was... I was feeling a bit tense when I was rewatching it. I mean, I know Dumbo does eventually fly because yeah. every time you see Dumbo, now he's flying. So of course you know it's coming. But yeah, but on, can't help but feel a little bit tense on, on your first viewing. Absolutely. Mhm. Um. And then, and then we finish off with Dumbo uh, making it into the making it into the papers, and he ends up getting his own carriage on the train. Yep, his little own VIP uh, yeah. um, carriage. His mum's back. Yeah. Um, and uh, and 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 the uh, and and the Cretans that uh, that were uh, lambasting Dumbo at the start of yes. the film, they now support him. I, I, I again, I think they deserved a bit more of a, a harsher treatment myself, but that's, that, that's just me. Yeah. It's just me. That is true. They are relentlessly evil to Dumbo. Yeah. But I know the ending brought a smile to my face. Mm -hmm. uh, the film does have a lot of dark moments, but so long as a film ends on a happy note, uh, mm -hmm. that's all that really matters. Um, it's one of the more happy Disney endings that I've seen, I think. So, um, mm -hmm. ah, it's, it's cute. It makes me feel nice. Mm -hmm. Um so and th and there we go. That's the end of the film. I mean, I, I think. I mean, we I mean we just we just summer we just uh, we just went through the entire we just went through the entire plot of uh, uh, Dumbo in uh, just over half an hour. All right. Well, just about the half the length of the actual movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh, but yeah. Now we get on to uh, the real business of the uh, of these uh, episodes. The ratings. Of course. So, let's... Tell me the numbers. Well, that's what we're going to discuss. Cool. <laughs> that's what we're going to discuss, what numbers to give them. So, first off, first off, story. Out of ten, what would we give it? Um, again, I th there are things that I wish that they maybe put in to the film, like giving the, the evil queens a bit more of a... Mm -hmm. A bit more of a, a, a torture, but uh, um, I'd I'd say a, a seven for the story. A seven, it's... yeah, yeah, because yeah, because uh, I was like, am I might, I might actually. I mean, given the time that they had to make it, it yeah. is a very very good job. But it does yeah. feel a bit rushed at points, and in some points, like the pink elephant scene, feel like yeah. they go on for a bit too long. Yeah, I mean, I mean, va valid valid criticisms there. I mean. I mean, I, I was going to bump it up to an eight, but uh, after uh, after what you've just said, yeah, I, I would definitely agree with it being uh, a seven. Seven's a good thing, though. It's, it's no bad at all. Absolutely, yeah. Uh, characters, um, I say, I would probably give that. I say that. I think that's probably where I'd give it an eight. I mean, yes, we don't have too many characters to focus on, uh, which does, in theory, give us a bit more time for uh, uh, development, but. But like you've mentioned earlier, the uh, the evil queens they they are relentlessly evil. But um, and, I no, I, I like all the other characters. Yeah, they, uh, they, the uh, the fact that the fact that everyone's happy as Larry, including those that made fun of Dumbo to begin with, doesn't feel. I um, know uh, it doesn't doesn't Do, feel. It doesn't right. feel. It doesn't feel warranted. Yeah. Um, but I no, I, I like all the characters. Um, well, we didn't really mention the stock that appears at the beginning that delivers uh, Jumbo Junior. Um, of course, I, I I like the stock at the beginning. He was quite funny. Um, and the the train as well. The train's actually sentient. He's got a few funny moments. The bit when he's sort of trailing up the hill, and then he gets exhausted as he reaches the peak and then just rushes down. Yeah. At the other end. Mm -hmm. um, and then Timothy, like I said, I thought back in the day I mm -hmm. thought he was just a poor man's Jimmy Cricket, but mm. you no, know, I really like him. So well, well, that 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 is true, yeah. But um, but yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, I can't. At the end of the day, I can't really give the characters more than an eight. 
Yeah. So yeah. So so there we go, folks. Just from those two sections already, and we still have just one one hundred percent film, uh, that being Fantasia. Yeah. But uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, <laughs> visuals now, or or like I said, visuals or animation in this case. I mean, mm-hmm. I'd I'd say a nine. Ah. For, for for the time they were given. Yeah. It is a very very good job. Mm-hmm. Um. It's very it's very cartoony at points. Yeah. But when it needs to be serious, it it, it does sort of tone it down mm-hmm. a bit. Yeah. And like I said, the pink elephants on parade scene. It's mm-hmm. it's trippy. It's uh, mm-hmm. colourful. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, so what? So what stops it getting a? So what stops the visuals getting a ten? Um. There's, there's just. It just sort of feels rushed at points. Well, mm. see, I've, I've just got a thing for not giving things a perfect ten. I don't think anything's perfect. That's just me. Um, Fair play. But. <laughs> Uh, there's your video, son. You you choose. Do you mm-hmm. give it a nine or a ten? Uh, well, was that? Well, at the end of the I'm day, just the guest. Well, well, well. Even even at that, still, um, um, let's let's put it this way, folks. He's um, he's he's been reviewing films a little bit longer than me, so he's he's definitely got he's definitely got the expertise in the field. Ah. ah. I mean, I mean, you're making me blush. I mean, of course. I mean, granted, he does work in a cinema, after all. But... I know. I've seen. I've seen a fair few films in my time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Uh, soundtrack next. Uh, again, uh, a nine. I think it's one of Disney's most underrated soundtracks. Mm-hmm. Got a lot of catchy tunes in there. I think, of course, of course, of course, given, of course, but of course, given, given the time frame and, like you've mentioned, Pink Elephants on Parade. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was like, I mean, I mean, I mean, with with what we've just mentioned there, yeah, d- d- I would agree with that being a nine. Uh, but oh, we've had three films in a row that got a ten out of ten for the test of time section. I don't know about this one because we've, this like is, I said, this every a... time we see Dumbo in the media, he's flying, and then the fact that he doesn't fly until the last five minutes of the film, mm-hmm. I think modern day audiences won't be able to hack it. I think. Mm-hmm. I think probably get yeah. sick and tired of it at one point they'll be like right can you just fly already i mean and, and you and you actually see it on the um on the on the vhs and dvd cases dumbo front and center ears out flying in the sky yeah yeah um so i, I don't know i think it holds up but i don't know how a, a modern day movie audience i mean i like it because i grew up with it as a kid mm-hmm. um yeah, but I don't know how kids nowadays would watch uh, if if they would like it all that much, or if they would just resort to watching Peppa Pig on their mobile phones. Mm. Um, yeah, <laughs> it's a tough one to read. That 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 is a that is a tough one. Yeah, yeah, it's it's definitely above a five. It's definitely above average. I'd de- say in de- the best de- of time. Definitely, but. But if you grew up with it, I'd, I'd definitely recommend rewatching it again. Absolutely, yeah. Uh, but at the end, <sighs> will we say a, a seven again? Six or a seven? We'll, 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 we'll go seven. Yeah, you'll say seven. Uh, a majority of that. A majority of that's down to the fact that what we've just mentioned would a modern audience be okay with this, and. And then, of, and then, of course, with some of the things that we've mentioned, the pink elephants on parade, the racist controversy with the the, the crows, and just how mean spirited the um... the film is up until the last five minutes. Yeah. So yeah. So yeah, that that street didn't last long. No. But nevertheless, time to time to uh, run through the numbers. Um... Channel your inner Carol Vorderman here. Get the, get the numbers done. <laughs> yeah. So we got 40 points out of a possible 50. Divide that by 50, 0. 0.8. Times that by 100. 80% for Dumbo. Is that the lowest we've you've got so far? Um. Well, let's find out. Slap it in the ranking. Let's see where it ranks. If 
my laptop decides to work. <laughs> From my recollection, I think it, that might be the lowest one, but 80 is still very high. 80. Yeah. Right, let's... Right. Right. Uh, yeah, as I, I'm, I'm, pre I'm pretty sure Dumbo is the lowest rated. Uh, yeah, Fantasia, that's that's a one hundred percent. Pinocchio is pretty high as well. Uh, yeah, I uh, see. So yeah, uh, Dumbo lowest rated film as it stands. Like we said, eighty percent is still high. It's that would get you an A still. So yes, yeah, yeah, Snow White ninety six percent. Jesus, that was close. Yeah, ninety six and uh, ninety four percent for Dumbo. Uh, no, Pinocchio. Pinocchio. So. Then. So so the uh, the rankings at the moment, as far as. Um, uh, Percentage-wise, for the films is concerned, uh, Fantasia at the top with 100%, Snow White second with 96, Pinocchio third with 94, and 80% for Dumbo. Which, given the time that it was made, it was made during World War Two. It's, it's still a very, very, very good effort. So, yep. Uh, and uh, we're we're going to have another um, hour-long film-ish. Uh, next time, when uh, I'm going to have Michael back uh, doing Dumbo. Uh, Bambi. Bambi. <laughs> um, this lockdown's... Oh, I can't wait for that one. The lockdown's <laughs> driving me crazy, folks! <laughs> it's yeah. driving us all crazy, son. I'm, I'm sat here in my underpants. Uh, are, we wait, sure we want, are we sure we want the audience to know about that? Uh, aye. Uh, aye. <laughs> <laughs> but, but anyway, like I said, we're all going crazy. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, at the end of the at the end of the day, folks, um, it's it is a it is a good film. Uh, at the time, it was a good film, but uh, with the val with the criticisms that we've um, outlined, it's um, it's touch and go as to whether a modern audience would take to this film for the first time. Yeah. Yeah. I remember seeing the Dumbo remake and uh, I was surrounded by kids who were just bored out of their nut and I think it might just... I yeah. just don't think Dumbo's yeah, it's like it's, land for the kids nowadays. Yeah, it's, like it's it's not... I say, I say the remake, it's... The remake's not one I'd recommend at the end of the day. I'd need to rewatch it, yeah. but I remember Cause, enjoying it, alright. Because, I mean, it's, I mean, I mean, the visuals for the, for the remake, absolutely, don't get me wrong, they were fantastic. But... Everything else just not what I was wanting from a Tim Burton film. I know it, it didn't feel like a Tim Burton film. That's my biggest issue. Uh, yeah. When you hear Tim Burton's Dumbo, it's the same issue I have with Alice in Wonderland as well. When he done mm. that, yeah. When you hear Tim Burton's doing them, you're like, oh, aye, this is going to be excellent. Um, yeah. It sounds yeah. like a match made in heaven, but it's mm. obvious that Disney were like, listen, Tim, you you need to calm down a bit here. Uh, <laughs> yep. But uh, but uh, let's say but one one Tim Burton film I will definitely yeah cover. I might actually keep it as a Christmas special. There, oh, I there, think I know what one you're talking about. There is one Tim Burton film I'm gonna review, and I know just the person to get on board with that one. Jack. <laughs> We are, of course, talking about The Nightmare Before Christmas. <laughs> now, whether to do that for Halloween or keep it for Christmas, who knows? We'll wait and see, um, what, we'll wait and see what happens. Because, I mean, yeah. it's, it's a film you can actually watch at both times of the year, essentially. Yep, yeah, no, it's the perfect November film, I think. There you go. Slap right, bang in the middle. Slap bang in the middle. <laughs> Slap bang in the middle. But anyway... Uh, that is it for uh, this week's episode of uh, Kingdom, I Kingdom of Isolation. Um, I say, uh, I'm still going to be going through the films in chronological order of when they were um, released, but uh, don't worry. I say, I say, don't worry, folks. I will make sure I have guests with me uh, for, for each episode. Let me know who you want me to get on board uh, as a guest in uh, future episodes, especially with the World War Two films. That'll be interesting to see. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Um, 
Uh, if you enjoyed what you saw, hit the thumbs up, and if uh, if you want to be uh, a dream chaser uh, like myself, you can hit the subscribe button down to the. Uh, you can hit the subscribe button, and if you want to keep up to date with uh, with this series, you can uh, click that notification bell, so that way you don't miss anything I do on this uh, channel. And of course, you can subscribe to Movies and Milk, and you can follow them follow them on Instagram as well. I will leave a link to their Instagram and YouTube there. Uh, I will leave the link to their Instagram page and YouTube channel in the description of this video and at the top of the comments on this video as well. So, all that's left to say is, uh, Michael, thanks very much for joining me, and I'll... Uh, no problem. Can't you wait for Bambi? Yeah, I'll, I'll, and I'll see you... I'll see you... Um, I'll see you for that. And uh, for everybody else watching, we will see... Uh, we'll be back together uh, doing Bambi uh, next time. Until then, it's good. Goodbye from us for now, and thanks for watching. See you later, folks.